Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is my next problem in the Sudoku problem series. This is a Rossini problem by Virtual. Um, Rossini is not a variant you see very often. Um, I've seen it a couple of times in um, Sudoku competition packs and stuff like that. So um, it is not, yeah, it, it, you don't see it very often in things like the CTC archive or anything, but it is an interesting constraint that's been around for quite a long time. So the goal with this one, of course, is to place the digits in all the cells marked with X's. Um, and the way it works is um, digits which are pointed to by arrows or the, um, the nearest three digits that are pointed to by, um, by arrows must be in ascending order. Now it says all possible arrows are given. This is reflecting um, uh, referring to around the digits um, around box one. So around this box, all arrows are given, not all digits, all arrows are given. So uh, they're the rules. Um, there is a link to this grid below. So you can pause the video if you wish to give it a shot. And I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so if we look at this box, what we know is that these digits must increase from here to here to here. And because of this arrow, it must continue to increase from here to here to here. And because of this arrow, it must continue to increase from here to here to here, because this arrow is pointing outwards. So we can treat this as a long thermo that can't start with a one. So because this is a seven cell thermo, this could be two, three, this could be three, four, four, five, five, six, uh, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. Now, with that, we can ask ourselves, where does nine go in this box? Because we can't put nine here, so the only place we can put nine is right here. Now, what we want to ask ourselves is, what can go into this cell? Because if this was to be lower than this, this would be valid, and we would need to have an arrow here. So this has to be higher than five. If it was uh, higher than yeah, it has to be higher than five. If this was lower than five, this could be a five and this would be valid. So this has to be six, seven, eight, or six, seven, or eight. Now, if this was a six, this would be valid in this order because we would be have three or four, six, and then seven and eight, and we would need an arrow at the top. So this can't be six. So this has to be seven, um, uh, seven or eight, which means that this becomes the six, this becomes the five, this becomes the four, this becomes the three, this becomes the two. And we still need to make sure that this doesn't increase because there's no arrow here. So this has to be the eight and this has to be the seven. And that's the best way I have found of being able to determine the way to um, accurately solve this particular problem. Hopefully you were able to figure your way through that one. It's not a constraint you see very often, but it is a very cool one in my opinion. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.